G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5 with the model number 14IL or double IL 05. Hopefully you can see it along here. This one's from 20, mid 2017. It's running a 10th gen, actually that date can't add up. Manufactured in 2020. Mid 2020, not mid 2017. And I'm going to be using a T4 screwdriver, spin around, a T4 screwdriver to get in here. Now, the back screws are longer. So do note that. And what I'm opening up this for is to replace the very baby 128 gig SSD to a 500 gig NVMe SSD. So all the screws are in very obvious spots, so there's nothing to be concerned of there. And while I'm in here replacing the NVMe, I do want to find out just a couple other things about it. So we'll see that soon. are fairly brittle which isn't a good thing when you're trying to get them apart and you need to use force to get them apart there we go. we are in so with us being in we can see we have one SSD here by a company called Union Meet a memory which is one brand I've never heard of before myself. And we did have one screw just fall out, which the customer did mention about a rattling sound inside their machine. Which I can tell it came from over here. So that is a standard Phillips head screwdriver, not a screw. So I'm gonna tighten up the hinges while I'm here. And not really tightening up for me, so I'd say that's a broken mount. Tighten up the rest there. Go over to the other end. Tighten those up. There we go. So to replace the SSD, what I'm going to want to do is disconnect the battery, which is sometimes a little bit tricky. So that zoomed in here. Should be able to just kind of get catch my nail on the middle of it and slide it back. There we go. And then from here, I take this bit out. The drive lifts up and wiggles back. We do have a slight little thermal pad there. And uh, one question I do get is what do you do with Windows after you've removed your hard drive? Well, what I'm going to use is an external enclosure to connect this to, to clone it onto this. But typically, if it's a brand new machine, you should just be able to do a fresh reinstall of Windows on there, and that should get you going. So I'm going to put this in on an angle and then pull down. In on an angle, wiggle it in, let it go. Looking pretty good. Tighten that up. You can also upgrade the Wi-Fi card in here if you would like. So we have a Intel G560 or G560N GWR. So that can be replaced if you would like to as well. We can't upgrade the RAM as the RAM is soldered on. I'm assuming it's under here. Go on by that. We can replace the thermal paste if we would like. And we can potentially replace the battery. But also if you have a damaged charger port up here, you will need to solder that off the board to replace it. So be careful not to damage your laptop. So from here, pretty happy with the rest of it. I will need to reconnect my battery that in, line it up, pull it forward, 
and that's now reconnected. So with the battery reconnected, we should be right to put the bottom cover back on and go. I'm leaving that screw out here that we already know about. And from here, I'm going to use a USB copy of a Cronus True Image and an external 2.5 inch enclosure or NVMe enclosure. And I should be able to clone the old drive to the new drive, restart the computer and have it going from there. Anyway, I hope this helps with um, pulling apart your ID pa uh, D-pad Flex 5 14 double I L O five. Bye. Well, one final tip, large screws go across the back. Every other screw along here is the same size. Bye.